Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls and this is our daily angelic message for February 23rd, 2024, although you can treat these as timeless. So for today, we got Queen of Michael. You guys, you I've been saying this over the past couple of days, make sure you're gathering the information from the dailies, the weeklies that I put up and I am going to be getting back into monthlies. We'll see how that goes, but there is a pattern here, okay? <laughs> the pattern here, we are getting our strength and our power back. And, oh, uh, just this feeling around it is just, oh, thank God, you know? Or um, if you've been here in the U.S., taxes are about to be due. If you've been messing with that and you're like, oh, it's finally done, it just feels like this huge burden is lifted off of you and you step back into your power, back into clear thinking. We have the Queen of Michael here. That's that being in charge, large and in charge of your thoughts, okay? Brilliant, self-reliant, insightful, humorous. You know exactly what to do, the benefit of experience, a time for your career rather than relationships. So this card is depicting yellow roses, okay? Let me put up in front of my face so we can get a good look at it. So it, there's yellow, there are some yellow roses on there. Roses are a sign from maybe your guardian angels that they are near but they're a sign of blessings. This is what Archangel Barakio usually uses to bring blessings into your life. So if you, I mean, if you're standing in a grocery store floral section at Valentine's Day and you see roses, okay, that's not your message, okay? Because that's where they would be anyway, right? But if you're just walking along and maybe you're looking one direction, you just feel a pull to look somewhere else and there's, you know, full you know, blooming roses everywhere. Stop and pay attention to how you feel in that moment. You can even stop and say, okay, Archangel Barakio, what do you want me to know? Now, the thing I think people do that interrupts the flow of messaging, angelic messaging, would be letting the ego get involved. The ego has to piece it together. The ego has to make sense of it. Uh, careful with that. This, this whole thing that's setting up over the past few days, this isn't about the story you've always told yourself. This is about a brand new story and you don't know how it goes yet. So get the mind out of the way. All right. <laughs> Angelsouls444.com if you want to get a reading with me and I am sending you all so much love. Take care.